Hey, what's up, everyone? Hope everything is sounding good here. Got some new settings. Um, going with... Uh, got a new software that should cut out background noise better, so uh, no more annoying buzzing for my laptop fans. So today... I'm going to play 61 today. Um, going back to 24th land, I want to play main deck Caracas. Given I keep playing against snow and having a main deck um, permanent answer to Uro is really important, I think. Um, and I wanted to make room in the sideboard for uh, the second mind break trap, given that Tess is about to get a lot more popular. Okay, Chilla Bear. Um, Hopefully the alert you made will be functioning properly today. So I thought it was live last last stream, but uh apparently it was not. Um so as soon as somebody follows or subscribes, uh we should get to hear that. Uh so that's pretty cool. Um yeah, everything got the list the same. I'm debating uh, if I want to play third war chief over third pile driver, it's kind of close. Um, eh, pile driver has been good lately. A lot of blue decks. Be fine. When in doubt, I think playing the lower casting cost card makes sense, right? Oh, I forgot to update the deck list again. Oh well. I'm so bad at doing that. A league ends tomorrow. All right. Bone Daddy 99. All right. On the draw here. Very, very solid hand. Vile, Double Cavern, Wasteland. All. It's rare you get a goblin's hand where every, every spell in your hand is castable. I mean, the Prospector to get red. This hand's vulnerable to flooding out, I guess. Um... But they really go to five, all right. Catacombs. It says depths to me. Yeah, it's depths, all right. Our hand's pretty good against Thoughtsies. Presumably they take Lackey here. Take Vile. Interesting. Mm, third Cavern. About as bad as it gets as far as draws. Um, I could have just wastelanded them there, but I think that's pretty bad given that we have the lackey and we're going to be able to hold up the wasteland. Like, obviously there's a chance that their mana is really bad. And we just win by wastelanding there. Um, but I don't think I want to take that risk. Also, because I have the crater maker in my hand, I feel comfortable holding onto the wasteland because I can take out Pithing Needle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a good draw. Huh. Hmm. 
Um, I think I just still play it safe though. If I go Warchief, Crater Maker, um, Wasteland, I'm still not holding up everything, right? I'll just drop my Crater Maker, then my Wasteland, and pass. I guess it's kind of free to play the Prospector actually. Because I can always sacrifice the Prospector to pop the Crater Maker if I absolutely have to. So hides the line a little bit, like they might walk into that as a mistake. My line gets punished if I have uh, Sylvan Scrying. Put you like a pile driver. A ghost quarter. Huh. So I could sacrifice my skirk, my crater maker, to kill the needle and then wasteland the bayou. That line is appealing if their last card is, or if, the, if they have like Hexmage Depths in hand. Because then they'd be stuck on black mana. It reduces my clock a decent bit. But if I don't do that, then I'm going. Just let this happen. Play my war chief attack for six. And yeah, I don't I don't think that's gonna be good enough. So it's a bad card trade for me, but our top decks are pretty live. If we draw Matron, we can drop War Chief, cast Matron, get Slingang. Port would be good. It's not great. I did say this hand was bad against flooding, and we have drawn three lands. I guess their discard spells are all dead, dead draws, so that's something. I'm going to play the Badlands here. If I draw a Jump Palm, I might need to cycle into a Wasteland or a Caracas. Okay. Two cards, and they are probably not Spirit Guide Crop Rotation, so. That was a good draw. So we hit for five, put in our best thing off the string leader, and we can probably race Lage from there.
just a matron. That should be good enough. Gang. Yeah. Hey, Ludwig. Yeah, it's uh, 7.30. Okay, so depths. See that? Ringleaders, jump on, and I honestly don't love Munitions Expert in this matchup. They only play a couple of creatures. We're boarding in a bolt, so it's just like the pro yeah, the thing with the expert is really awkward on your mana, right? Um, but jump palm is too slow. Um, so munitions expert it makes it hard for you to hold up ports and stuff. Okay, it's, it's an okay hand. Lacking to sling gangs, one of our better starts, uh, and we have a wasteland. Greater maker for the wasteland. The lackey gets thought seized. It's definitely a problem, though. You go to five again. All right. Might just be turn one hex mage. Turn one scrying. Needle. Okay. All right, let's hope we don't die on turn two here. Might need to put in Crater Maker off the Slacky. It tucks. Game two against Defs here, we're up a game. Our opponent has Mulligan to five twice, which is a bit nice. Badlands, cool. Okay, so this might be abrupt decay. Oh, that is such a good draw. That lets us be kind of greedy. I don't know if I should be, though. I probably should not. The fact that we have a matron lets us not worry as much about thought season or slinking. Okay. Mm -hmm. Depths. Wow, playing out the depths. Okay. Uh, I could go for Muxus next turn. I think I'm going to use my mana efficiently and do this.
don't think I need to go for Muxus. Like we can just go Sling Gang, play Crater Maker, hold up Wasteland. They beat the Wasteland, we can Caracas them. Wasting Bayou is actually pretty tempting here. I think I'm actually going to do that. Because we can survive a depth hit, so... Uh... Okay, Spirit Guide. Rot Rot. sure we're safe here. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. I think they're dead if we get Patchlick here. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah. Oh, it costs. I don't have War Chief in play. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, yeah. All right, it gets a two oh deaths here. Doesn't happen every day. Hey, Smaffy. Thanks for the Follow. The sound works. Yay. Welcome to the Galvin Horde. How is it? How's the volume level on it? I am Primich. Thanks for the follow. Sound volume's good. Awesome. Goat Lust. That's a horrifying username. Uh, I would keep this hand on the play. This hand's actually pretty good on the play, but I think we get the mulligan in this on the draw. Just all two drops, unfortunately. It's not that bad, but it just no acceleration on the draw is just like kind of a bad place to be. I think we do this and hope to draw a red source for this gem palm. Might be bad though. Maybe we're supposed to keep more Marshall. I was probably supposed to keep more Marshall. But hills go, huh? Prospector, reasonable draw. Not getting video. Uh, I'm not getting, might just be you. Try refreshing. It's 
So this could be lands. Rugdelver. Goif? In this economy? Hmm. All right, uh, I think we're going to waste land. I could waste land the trop. And then they waste. Uh, wasting the waste protects my cavern. I can go for the high, high upside play here. It's risky, though. Up top. That was not a good draw. All right, let's see if we draw out of it before they do. They have a land plus bolt or hooting mandrels or something like that. That sucks. That's a 4-5 now. All right. I'll concede. We took a risk and uh, did not pay off uh, at all. But we also would never draw a land after that, so it doesn't really matter. All right, Rug Delver with Goyf. It's fine. Um, obviously our our prior our seven would have been better. Or keeping the War Marshal could have been good. Um, I think I'll just do this and then on as an additional answer to Arcanist when I'm on the draw I'll board in one chalice last pile driver that's kind of what I've been doing lately that's a nice hand Uh, Kojiak25, thanks for the follow. Missed that, sorry about that. So we're going to lead on Vial here. Um, because we have the port, um, I don't want to randomly lose to, uh, just, you know, bolt your lackey, play a thing. Mm-hmm. That's a good draw. Um, there's somewhat of a question, but I'm pretty sure the answer is port here, rather than play second vial or play the relic. Oh, that's a... That's a good sign for me. Because I get to um, port their sort of stop on their opponent's second main. Because unless they go fetch land. Hmm. 
and fetches are broken. Well, we'll see if they cast something here. Okay. This is all fine. Third land would be really nice for us. So we kind of time walked ourselves, I guess, but the vial's ticking up, so it's whatever. That was a good one. Um, don't think I need to play the Relic yet. So I'm going to play this file like this to play around days because I'm going to use the Lange to cast Crater or to activate Crater Maker. Force pitch days, sure. It's crazy there as if that they uh just days there, I would not be allowed to pay. I'm putting the ringleader here because the matron's gonna come off the vial next turn. Nice. Dreadhorde, sure. Um, do we play around Bolt? Probably not, or probably do, and I just hope to draw a red source here. Nice. Um, let's get my relic down. Sequencing like this, I mean, they know about the matron, so it's not really a bluff, but if they miss it, bolting here does not save the Arcanist. I mean, they're kind of forced to bolt anyway, because, uh, otherwise the lackey kills them. Because then we can just matron for Muxus with the trigger on the stack. I think I'm just going to do another munitions expert. Handle the next threat. We're very ahead now. Like incredibly so. This expert can kill a uh, Hooting Mandrels if they find that. That's the biggest threat they have. They go like land Oko. We just kill the Oko for free, basically. I 
Coif doesn't really do anything with the relic on the table. All right, sure. Guess that's okay. Uh, I think we can just kill them at Sling Gang next turn. I guess the, they could have a Wrath here. Rough Tumble, in which case I want Ringleader. I could have played it super conservative and just go like lackey port your trop, but eh. All right, blazing volley, sure. Get another dread word? No. All right. All right. We're out of cards, and they're top decking. Let's go to four here in case we draw Creator Maker. Because uh, then we'll do a ton of stuff. Kind of a bummer ringleader, but it's fine. We're at 20. They're not allowed to attack. They have no cards. Another Goyf? Delver? Sure. Okay, so we can attack. Yep, force block. All right, well, the blazing volley. Uh was good, but glad I got the other ringleader. Uh, we're 1-0. We beat Depths. Looking forward to common content. All right. Well, you you've come for you come to the right place. So they brought they showed us Null Rod, Blazing Volley. It makes Chalice better. Um. Relic does get made sad by Null Rod. We saw Goyf both games, so they probably have multiple Goyfs. I'll do this. Very solid hand. Opponent goes to six. Could be reasonable to um, cut the Caracas for to keep the pile driver to keep ringleader numbers up. But land drops are like the most important thing. Let 
Ooh. Interesting. Um, I was thinking about wastelanding them there, but... I think here I jam the vial. If they daze it, that's okay. Sure. Our opponents are really good at blind flipping Delver on turn two, like every single time. It's kind of annoying. I think here it's probably going to be Wasteland plus Lackey. Oh yeah. Okay, um, I think just kill the Stelver. Sucks that we don't have anything to do with this Lackey now, and we don't have a red card for Pyrokinesis, but with between Relic and the second Wasteland, it'll be a while before they can do anything relevant again. Uh, yeah, I think, I think the um, Sky whatever will be okay um we're gonna cantrip relic here and i was really hoping for a goblin there I think I'm just going to wasteland their wasteland. They can wasteland my cavern, but I think that's fine. I really don't want them to play... Uh, uh, Goy for Arcanist next turn. That's a good one. Do I see the card with the text flip this creature next turn? Yeah, that's what I'm playing two mind breaks. Yeah, Skyclave Apparition. That card's gonna be really good in Death and Taxes. Esper Vial, probably not as good because its mana curve's already whack. Oh, week one, yeah. Relic's nice. Just gonna cantrip it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yeah, Mana Denial, all four Wastelands, pretty good against Rug Delver. Mm -hmm. So far we've hit Trop, Wasteland, no Shuffle. Uh, four, six, they're dead. We don't need to show them that we drew all the wastelands. We drew a whole lot of wastelands. <laughs> that's that's what we can say about that game. <clears throat> Relic was quite nice there, though, right? It's like uh, just cycling, cycling through a deck. Hey, Dom. Welcome to the Goblin Horde. How's it going, man?
I think the thing with Skyclave Apparition in, in Esper Vial is the fact that uh, you can't uh, you can't use its ability to flicker your own stuff. It makes it a little bit weak, weak, weaker than uh, some other uh, abilities of that type, right? Like compared to something like Baron. Get some exciting news for me. Um, tomorrow or Thursday, I've got a video with Anurag on Channel Fireball coming out, which is awesome. Really, really cool to see that I'm going to be on Channel Fireball. Um, and we had a really, really crazy league. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So... It's gonna be a two-parter. The, the games were long, um, so he's splitting into two, two parts. It's like a three and a half hour league. <laughs> Crazier than the stream with white faces. Uh, well, Bog Boys is unparalleled, so not that crazy, but still pretty, pretty crazy. Thinking the jailer slot, Ice Van Quattle still in Monarch more time. I'd like to admit that that can make some sense. Yeah, Pal's jailer has not aged super well. Shark Typhoon, Ice Van Quattle, Oko. Goblins League with long games. Anu so lucky. <laughs> it was it was really good matches. play nice uh i'm gonna toss this one it's kind of already a six because of the mugs if we had a script prospector this can't be nuts hmm. kind of also goes to six i get combo and turn two flip delvers in the play yeah that that is what the, that happens on the stream um so i could toss back the chain whirler and just keep on the basis of voice support delaying the game for a while i don't hate that Thoughts on Relic Robber? Not super playable. That's what's going to happen here. I'm just going to hope that Waste Port are good here. Relic Robber, <laughs> hell of a lot worse because of Oko than it otherwise would, would be. I don't think it's very good anyway, but... Ancient Tomb. Okay. Well, Waste and Port are going to be good. This is Chalice. Deal. Oh, it's this deck. Okay. Hmm. They hit an LED? That's unfortunate. All right. No petals, though. Uh, Relic Robber is like you hit them and then they get O1s or something. Trop. Is this like Oko? That would be uncool. <sighs> Very uncool. I think we just have to play out our stuff here and like. 
Ugh. This is not. I was hoping this was like Eldrazi or Moonstompy uh, when I played Ancient Tomb Chalice on one. Petal LED. Kind of like Karnas. One, two, three. Second Emery. Okay. Okay. Um, if you draw a removal spell to kill Emery, they don't have anything other than Oko. We got the cavern if we draw a one drop as well. Kind of hope they attack. Okay. Well, we can cast Muxus in. Two turns. We can go Matron for Expert Ill Emery. So I stop drawing two cards a turn. And Crater Maker. Mm, please don't be Nar uh, Urza. Urza would be the worst case. I guess, no, they can Lattice here. Good card. Okay. All right. I need to, need to dodge Echo. Oh, there's Drew Echo. Sure. Um. Fun. All right. I'm gonna concede. So they just drew <laughs> Narset into the Echo into Narset just from empty-handed. That's cool. Very reasonable. I want bolts. Mm, not really, actually. Bring in Mind Break on the draw. Alright, cut vials. Leave a Chain Whirler for, uh... What's his face? Psy. Um, go to one ringleader, a sling gang down. Keep all these guys. Trim a. Uh, hmm. War Marshal is probably the worst creature, but War Marshal is really good with Trash Master. Like, really, really good. Third Pile Driver? All right, so we kept kind of a weak hand. Um, and they were able to ignore Waste and Port. Um, the problem with this hand is if they play Emery on turn one, it's really, really bad. Doesn't have any removal. Our draws are pretty strong, though. I don't know if I know this matchup well enough to say if I knew this is a mold of hate kind of thing. I'll try it. And if they do play Emory on turn one, we do have. Uh, two pyrokinesis, three experts to draw towards. Okay. Okay. Good draw. War Chief, War Marshal, and hold the Prospector. 
I could actually... Hmm. Prospector is actually probably better than War Marshal here. I don't know. We have a lot of mana. Hmm. This is a better clock, though. I think I do this. There is a word where I play the Prospector anyway, because I could, uh, I could like upkeep, cast Pyrokinesis, card cast it, but I want to instant speed it in case of Urza, I think, or Psy, so they only get one token instead of a million. So this would be a lot better as a pile driver we're thinking about. Okay. Dismember. Let's see what we draw here. Draw a matron, I think they die. Um, I can play the land. Okay. It's four mana thing. Sure. Gonna elk their petal. Sure. All right, most creatures kill them here. Or. Er. Okay, that was a really good one. Uh huh. So I could sack, 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 kill this, Iloko. I'm left with Prospector or Chief Pashalik. If I swing everything but Pashalik at them, they block War Chief and take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, I'm dead. Swing everything but Pashalik, they block War Chief. Sack the War Chief, ping them for one, they go to 11, then they take four, down to seven, then we, two, three, four. We're one mana short of activating Pashlik for lethal. Okay. All right, so I think I just uh, kill the food. Oh, yeah, they could just block Prospector as well, yeah. Pingu's just trolling. Um, I actually could sack the Prospector here. I don't hate that. Might be bad, though. Not sure. Ooh, punished. All right.
Echoing Truth, huh? Play the land because of activating Pashlik could matter. All right, so maybe that was bad. Opinion holding land versus thinning. If no patch, I can play. Uh, I'd probably just play it. They're at a low enough life total that they're not going to play around a whole lot. Can't get mine twisted by Narset if you don't have a card's hand. Yeah. Okay. Sure. LED Echo, maybe? Ballista. Okay. Pretty sure they're just dead. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that worked out. Uh, mind break. Less exciting on the against. I don't know. They seem slower. I think I will play the third pile driver over War Marshal here. Could trim a Muxus for Sling Gang or Ringleader. A little easier to get Ringleader into play, right? My break does stop a lot of their broken starts, though. Hasty's train. Um, what would we play? We could trim a Caracas. Caracas is really good against Emery, though. And okay against Urza. Could do this. I'll try this. I don't want to cut, like, cut a colored source. I could cut like a. I don't want to cut Wasteland or Port against the Ancient Tomb deck. Uh, I actually think I keep this. Pyrokinesis is really good when we're on the draw. Crater Maker is a really good card. We've got Wasteland and Port. See, so if they just like play Emery here, we just Kinesis it and then. Uh, we sign them. Is this Chalson one? Sure. Deal. Yeah, we're back to 61 here. Cracking bobbles is kind of risky. Oh, okay. okay. Crack one. That makes sense. I saw a mountain. Okay. Mm, bummer. We're still like reasonably safe. Hmm. That's what we didn't want to see. Voting. Okay. Patch looks decent. Uh huh.
Need this crater maker to take out the Karn. Porting them doesn't really accomplish anything. And they just stun rain me. I was hoping this crater maker could blow up the chalice, and then we'd have red blast up, but. If we draw a red source, I guess they're probably going to stone rain Badlands, so we have to draw a black source, because then we can go attack for two plus munitions expert to kill the Karn after it upticks here. It's not. Okay. Can't lattice. Coding? No. Okay. Okay. So we get to expert the Karn. Man is awkward here. Love to play Lackey here, but... Reasonably fine spot. Doesn't really do anything without Karn on the table. Okay, that makes sense. Oh yeah, Chalice also breaking Lackey. Yeah, good, good, good observation. Hey. Huh. All right, so I think we give up on Red Blast. We hit Oko. Hey, stress daddy. And I don't think porting them is good enough yet. So We'll set up to double port next turn. Play two Goblin's Leaks myself today. Here are you. <laughs> oh, I missed your raid. Oh, thanks, Dan. Food chain meme goblins, nice. All right. No echo, echo nonsense, please. Next turn, we can start porting them off of blue, blue. Okay, now we might not do that. Elk Pashlik Mons. Cool. It's a 3-3 three, three now. Oh, yeah. 
Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, raid sent. Um, are, are we cowards? We go for trash master, or do we go for muxus? Are they dead if we go for slinging? Six, seven, eight, nine. Three, six, seven, eight, nine. For the five, yeah. All right. Boring. Tristan <laughs> Taylor's voice, thanks for the follow. Nice. One second, everyone. Stress Daddy, thanks for the follow. All right. Staggeringly exquisite, thanks for the follow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has Big Teddy Muxus in the deck. Muxus is really good. Muxus is a very, very good card. You get a bunch of ways to cheat into play with Lackey and Skirk. It made Skirk Prospector so much better. Um, it's kind of ridiculous how much better Skirk Prospector got. Um, I've ticked Vile to six many times at this point. <laughs> As always, if you're new here, be sure to check out my Patreon. You can exclamation point Patreon to uh, get a link there. All right. Sans solid. I'm going to draw again, which is a little rough, but basic and vile. Cavern's nice. I think this guy plays Delver. Okay. If it's Sneak and Show, we've got Creator Maker at least. Shuffles. Okay. Could be Snowco. Oh, thanks, Left, left Coast. I'm, I'm glad you're appreciating the Patreon work. Snap Force. Pitch Ice Fang. All right, Snuko confirmed. See, this is okay against Snuko. Flames. All right. I'll play out my Crater Maker here. If it's plowed, that's all right. Nope. All right. Okay. Brainstorm. Interesting. This could be like miracles. Um, I think I just keep adding to the board here. It's a trap card. We're playing two my rig traps. <laughs> it's not really the cards you want versus like miracles. Yeah, we're three zero now. Yeah, they terminus me. Kind of sucks, but All right. Okay. I sent Quaddle, sure. Goblin Lucky Face reminds you of Baby Shrek. Crater Maker, huh? I don't hate just Crater Makering this thing and attacking for five, to be honest. Um, I could also just attack for three. Okay. I like doing this. I think their hand is weak based on how they're playing. Okay. Yeah. 
be happy they decided to go after that one. So we two for one ourselves with by killing uh Ice Fang, but they two for one or we two for one them by killing Astrolabe in response to Plow, basically. So fine exchange. Oh, that explains things. Jump on Atrium. Oh, that's even better. Monastery Mentor, huh? See that one anymore. Uncounterable. Draw Prospector. Not super exciting, but. Those are pretty close to dead next turn. Attack for four, open to five. And then they actually are, they actually are dead next turn to Sling Gang. But since we have two, I think we can jam it. Why the split on Jump Pump Center versus Munitions Expert? Kind of what you just saw, right? Um, There's um a brainstorm terminus, okay. All right. Uh the munitions expert is a more powerful card, but jump on um has its kind of specific applications where it's really good. Unless well, they have two terminuses here. like Oko here and then they die. Oh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. All right, we need to waste a report real fast. Oh. Okay. Uh, three, four, five, six. We're one short of killing him with the Sling Gang. Fortunate. This should do it though. So we just need to hit like a War Chief or something? Damn. Oh fuck, they can Mystic Sanctuary Terminus now. That was not a good Muxus. Well, we'll see if they have Mystic Sanctuary. If they have Mystic Sanctuary, they can't... Uh... They do have Mystic Sanctuary. They can't Uro. Unless they drew another green source. That was a really bad Muxus. We didn't hit a Matron or a Ringleader. We might lose. We might actually lose. All right, War Chief is lethal. I have to play this. Man, we were one damage short last turn. Yeah, I th I thought I thought about that actually. 
briefly. I didn't give it enough consideration. That would have been smart. It would have been smart. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I probably should have done that. Smart. All right, so we can trade with the food. Yeah, I, I I just didn't give enough thought. Mock War Marshal would have been lethal there. I should have looked like Fang trade, honestly. Yeah. Cause I don't want them to just be able to elk this. I don't know. I just need to draw like any two for one goblin, any two bodies. I should have traded though. Sure. We also have gone 15 cards in. We've yet to see a matron or a ringleader. So there's that. And we have one more Muxus. I guess the other is just still on the bottom of our deck. So fetch lands are good draws. I guess we only have one fetchable left, but... A second Mystic Sanctuary. Interesting. Hmm. One, two, three, four. They get Terminus here. We could just port white. Back brainstorm. Okay. Uro matters more than a plow. That's bad for me. What decks do I like to stream? Goblins. <laughs> Basically all I do. Good job, please. Oh, come on, deck. Yeah, I kind of punted this. I, I should I should have held up the black mana. Uh, yeah, I just let this trade. They still can't quite cast Uro. They need another green mana.
Definitely, definitely messed up though. But I didn't hit a war chief at matron or a ringleader to get me lethal there, basically. Off that Muxus. Feels pretty unlucky. Like our Muxus hit. Pile driver, lackey war marshal. That's it. We've drawn land since. Okay, there we go. Yeah, they have two food activations, but I just mean in previous turns. Um, let me just go for Muxus. Test it next turn. Control Terminus? Which I wish Muxus was in modern. Eh. Alright. I'm gonna leave a Sling Gang in my deck. It's a matron target. It's a pretty decent chance that this Muxus kills them, but we haven't seen any War Chiefs, so. Mr. Lee, thanks for the follow. Wanna get War Marshal for lethal? Oh, they, they could gain. gain life in six. They're Atomistic Sanctuaries. We have like infinite muxuses. Tap like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's get Matron. Uh, they've gone through three Ice Fangs, so I'm going to assume they don't have any more. With the Krakus, I don't think we can lose. Hey, Brainstorm. It's like we're getting this one. Like they can play Uro here. And we Krakus it. If they have Plow for Oxus, that's fine. We can just get our second one. If they elk the Muxus, then uh, we can just rockus it, and that's fine. Did 
It doesn't lose legendary status when it's elked. Alright, do this. They plow, they use it now. Okay. We have three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or this. All right. All right. That was a good one. So it looks like just classic miracles, in which case we'll bring in the needle. Kuroko from a wasteland for the second Caracas. Red blasts for back to basics. Um, not relic. I'm bored in one relic. Uh, we saw a monastery mentor, so I'm actually gonna keep Chain Whirler. Um, from a priest, prospector, two lackeys. Twenty nine goblins is fine. So Crater Maker is coming up because, of, well, actually, shape a pile driver. I don't want to be caught without an answer to mentor. Double vial, no land. I mean, we've got one land. That's probably a keep. If we draw lands, then we still have Crater Maker. If they, even if they do have Containment Priest, obviously we need to draw lands, but. Nice. Good land, too. Force. Back to basics. Good. Sign. Okay. <laughs> nice. Jamesters and GTL Starbursts, thanks for the follows, everyone. Let's say Plow Lackey here. Sure. <laughs> Scorpion God, thanks for the follow. All the followers, appreciate everyone. Coming on through. Oh, sure. Kind of annoying. Got Red Blast. Really good. All right, land is really good too, though. Uh, they pitched back to basics. I kind of want to get a lackey here, to be honest. So I want to use my vial in case they elk it. A little bit of a waste of a matron, but given that our hand is these two cards, I think we're fine. Kind of annoying. Kind 
kind of a close call for them. Really? Okay, sure. The elk food. It's risky though if I draw a munitions expert, they get like insanely punished. Yeah, really nice that they pitched the back to basics. Land, please. Nice. Those are good. Um, we can hit Oko to one. I don't know if that's worth it. Because we can hit them for six, put them to 12. Um, we do hit Oko here. All right. I usually don't go after Oko in these spots, but. Okay. Okay. If we draw a land, we can go... Okay, so they can't trigger prowess. If we draw a land, we can go war chief, creator maker, activate, kill mentor. All right, instead we have a much less exciting turn. But it's still... Reasonable. They can Mystic Sanctuary. Um, but just attack like this is trade. If I attack like this. They lose their monk token. If I attack like this, they like block here, block here, Oko dies. So they block here, block here, Oko go, goes to one. I don't know about this. Okay. I don't know. Eh, that's kind of bad. That's kind of bad. I think showing why I prefer not to go after Oko. Land there would have been really, really nice, though. Yeah, I could have attacked with only Lackey. Preserve my board state really matters because I have War Chief Pile Driver in hand. I could have like just gone to kill them. It's the Mystic Sanctuary, get back Plow. Sure. But if I draw land, I can go Matron, Expert, Kill Oko. Yeah, this is why killing Oko is never fucking worth it, because if you, if you don't hit, hit, you lose. Well, you're just far behind. Like, I sank two combat steps and, like, seven damage, or uh, six... Seven, yeah, seven damage into Oko. They would just be dead to Sling Gang by now, probably. All right, so they have Plow in hand. What's the best way to do this? I want to keep the Sling Gang around. Play Matron. The Get Lucky play is Ringleader there, but... Trade off here. And 
interesting. Ooh, that was really good. Okay. Um Let's attack them. Um because the block. I'm like trying to play around a hard cast force, basically. I just don't attack. I do this. Hardcast Force. Sure. Mm -hmm. But now, now we get to kill Oko. And they have to plow War Chief main phase, most likely. Oh, yeah, Jace does not matter. What's up, Legacy Goblins? Get anything new? We got Moxus. This card's nuts. Yeah, so they gained like a million life. So, like, if I ignored Oko that whole game, we would have won by now. So, that's kind of a lesson, right? That was a good draw. Um, how much can we play around Terminus? Um, we play Sling Gang. Five. Uh, eight. Oh, this is oh, this is bad. They can just plow with the sling gang. It's pretty bad. Yeah. Oh wow. Horse pitch brainstorm. Okay. Mm-hmm. I say zero cards, we name Jace. I could actually just name Oko there and kill the Jace. That might be better. All right, no cards. 
War Chief is nice. Um, Terminus might be a here. Nice. Oh, return to nature. Okay. I still have a Muxus and a, and a ringleader in hand. Astrolabe. What does Muxus do? So it's six mana for a 4 4. Edge of the battlefield, you reveal the top six. Um, you put any goblins that cost less than six onto the battlefield. And it's also as an ETB. There's Pile Driver. All right. Putting three caverns on the bottom sucks, but. I guess if the last card is Brainstorm and they have Terminus, they win. Kind of. But they don't. Whee! All right, so within the next two turns, we would have gotten Muxus into play and then flipped Expert. That's it. Wow, we were going to flood for a while. But we got there. It's Goblin Collected Company, but it, you can put all... Like, it's not choose. It's... uh, You put all of them. And then for when it attacks, it gets plus one, plus one for each other goblin you control. So it's not just each other attacking goblin like Pile Driver, it's each other goblin, period. So you, you end up with like 12, 12 Muxuses. Um, it is like completely absurd. That game was interesting. Uh, I didn't play game one optimally. I should have left up Black Mana for that Slang Gang that would have made it a whole whole lot easier instead of having to draw like... The the Muxus the, the the sweated out with a matron draw. Our second Muxus was was quite go. It was like we hit matron and ringleader, and then matron found another matron, so we could matron for Muxus again if we wanted to. Yeah, and if you hit a war chief, it'll have haste. Yeah. Um. So this build only has two war chiefs, but I could easily see uh. Playing a third, the card's really good um, with Muxus. Yeah, it's like surprisingly easy to hard cast, right? Um, like obviously it gets stuck in your hand sometimes, but it's really, really, um, really potent. And you know, uh, Prospector, turn one Prospector, turn two War Marshal, turn three, you can hard cast Muxus because you just have if you have three lands and then three three bodies on board. Yes, yeah, so the lesson is always ignore Oka, right? I thought I had learned that lesson, but. <laughs> Yeah, we, we sank a whole lot of combat steps into trying to kill Oko, and then we ended up pyroblasting it to actually kill it. Um, so opponent would have had way less life. So I think Oko, Oko's just, like, scary, because it's, like, this format warping planeswalker. Um, but if you just, like, okay, this card makes a 3-3 every other turn, or every turn, if they're willing to lose their astrolabes. It would have lost 12. It would have been at 12 less life. Yeah. So, like, yeah. Going after Oko, frequently a trap. I kind of fell for it there. Um, if you can't outright kill it 100% guaranteed, it's not worth it almost every time. Because it's so easy for them to, like, okay, Oko goes to 1, plus it, make a 3-3, three, three, play a blocker, play a removal spell. And, like, even if you had a pretty overwhelming board presence, they can go from nothing to not, like, they let another one damage come through on Oko, and then you've sacrificed all your board to get the attack in, and it's just like a terrible expression, a, a terrible uh, exchange. I don't, yeah, I don't know how much other decks deal with that as well, because like Pile Driver's a big damage dealer that can't be elked, which is a big deal, and Goblins has all these sources of burst damage from Haste, so that's like War Chief, Ringleader, um, and Slang Gang, and sometimes Muxus are like just unexpected damage bursts. Um, so I don't know if other, other decks can do that as well, but I would bet, I'd bet people would be surprised. Yeah, long queue time. All right, we're 4-0. Let's so hope we get a good matchup. Okay, we're on the draw again. Um, I played against this person last stream, and they were on Snowco. Man, I really wish I was on the play. <laughs> 
sand be snap keep on the play. Um, I think we have to keep it because it's lackey and vile. Um, not happy about it. But if we draw lands, it's pretty good. Like, and we can make a couple important actions as the game starts. Plus, we just don't want to mulligan in this matchup. It's four color snow. I kept seven. It's kind of a bummer. Catacombs. Okay, maybe they're not. Ooh. Depths, huh? All right, well, they switched decks on us. <laughs> we hit our worst matchup in the field for the 5 0. I, what is with. I'm getting 5 0s robbed by depths literally nonstop. It's really obnoxious. We haven't lost yet, but. Mm hmm. Yeah, we can't even fill that right now. Stupid first strike. White Slime was a pretty good draw, but we do die to depths here unless we draw Crocus. All right, just had to crop rotation now. Crop decay, maybe. Oh, scrying. Why'd they play the scrying? Why'd they play the forest? It's confusing. Play both files last turn. I just think they're going to be too slow. Oh, they have Spirit Guide. Or they have Crop Rotation. All right, well. All right, we got to draw our Krakos. What a skill-based matchup here we got. We got a second death. All right, Krakos. Bummer. Uh, we may have beaten that on the play. Yep. I'm going to try War Marshal over. Expert has the cut. All right, well, losing game one on the play or win on the draw is pretty expected. Let's see if we can get game two and three, though. Sucks to. It's just like this is like the fifth time this has happened. I'm 4 0, and then I queue into depths round five. It's, it's, it's uncanny. It's really fucking obnoxious. We already played against Depths once this league. Just kind of insane if you think about it. Deck is not very popular. Playing against it twice. Really sucks. Yeah, we got we got two Crocus. Got six direct interaction cards for the combo, which is or seven needle, so something yeah moto, moto just does not want me to trophy it's the lesson yeah lower boy i'm not even convinced that you have a buy versus depths just because the deck is so fast like it really forces like if they go turn one needle wasteland and then 
uh, turn two, make a twenty twenty. You do need to have your Caracas right then. Like you don't have time to knight it up. Obviously, get knight in play. It's really hard to lose. I mean, I sure. How many of those games are against Tom Hep though? But I mean, obviously, that's not really a way to evaluate matchups, right? You can't just be like the best person in the world who plays the deck. But. I don't know. I just don't. I, I struggle to see how non blue decks beat depths a lot of the time, just based on my experience with their draws. Maybe people just respect. Like, Tom Tom really goes for it. Like, he doesn't wait around. Um, I think some depths players do. They try to play around stuff and they just shouldn't. Uh, sure. I don't know. I've, I've seen, I've seen depths beat the shit out of Maverick plenty of times to know that that's kind of hyperbole. Like, gr great, you can uh, tutor up Wastelands and stuff, but what if they kill you before you get Knight in play? Having three fetch lands kind of sucks because I really don't want to get... Uh, I don't want to have to lose life, so kind of hope they play Orborg. Mm, okay. Let's see if they name Vile here. Nope. Alright, that's good for me. Uh, I think we can take a turn to port them here. Really hoping those Inquisition. Sucks that they see the Caracas now. Really. Okay. Maybe they have a second discard spell, and that's why they took that. I could draw. I think I'm gonna jam ringleader or war chief here. It makes my draws way more live. Next turn, I can go Sling Gang plus Hold of Caracas. Probably wins the race. They lose two life to Thought Sees Me here. Okay. Next Mage. Yep. Oh, they have, they have Crop Rot. All right, well, probably lose then. Actually, could just not play the Caracas. Because I can survive one Merit Leech hit. Well, I saw the Caracas in my hand. I'm going to have to sacrifice those three anyway, so it's a free attack. Or kind of necessary attack, I guess. I guess that's true, yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Free damage. 
Um, see, I don't think I play the... Wait, hold on. If they play, if they make Lage, and then we go attack for five. This. I need to draw something. I think I just l let them hit me once. Go to one, and then Caracas the... Merit Lage, because if I play the Caracas now, then they go Crop Rat Ghost Quarter. Uh, then. Yeah, I know the Waste is Needled. I think I just, if I play the Caracas, I, I lose a Crop Rotation. And by playing the Petal, they, I mean, if they don't have Crop Rotation, I feel really stupid, but. Are linked to deck list. Not really, sorry. <laughs> this line is bad against the second um, needle, but I don't think I can play around that. And I could also draw Trash Master or Crater Maker to beat that. And with Matron, that's like. Um, that's just so many outs. So I'm going to take Vital Four so I can go Matron for Trash Master. Plus Caracas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is where the, the cracking two fetch lands really, really sucks. AR tart. I wonder if I'm supposed to sacrifice slinging over War Chief there. Hmm. Yeah. It's close. Giga punished. Okay. Yeah, probably won't matter. I wonder if I should just hold up port there. They played a stage here. Okay. They're going to be a turn slow. Just flash an expert. All right, got game two. No idea why they, I guess, yeah, they should not have taken Pile Driver. Yeah, yeah, that we had him in Xaxes. All right, well, I think we just run it back. Hope to get real lucky. Really got to draw your shatters on time in this matchup. Crater Maker is really essential. Yeah, the no block, yeah. Well, I mean, it wouldn't matter. Right, because they they couldn't make Lage on that last turn. Mm. 
Oh, I'm yeah, hands close, but. Don't think we can keep a hand just off of needle. I mean. Oh, man. Yeah, it wouldn't have mattered, but the info is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Maybe they're playing around Goblin Chieftain. Like a Lord makes blocking the. Yeah. I think we have to mulligan this, unfortunately. Okay, this is this is a lot better. Yeah, they still free blocking. Yeah, the no no block doesn't make any sense at all. Play mold to six. Take the lackey. Makes sense. I basically need to dodge like a lot a lot of fast mana. Land. Um, we have lightning bolt in our deck, right? So I am gonna play. I don't want to fetch because I don't want to lose life and I don't want to draw the land I just uh, think I played this. Because there's a word where I draw Bolt and I want to go Bolt plus hold up Caracas. Like, I know it gives them full info, but... I think that's okay for a turn. So next time we play Crater Maker. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really, they still name Wasteland. Interesting. Matron's nice. Um, do I play around? No, I think if they spend their, if they spend their turn abrupt decaying, it's okay. I'm really confused why they didn't name Caracas. Passing. Interesting. Interesting. Don't think there's a way we can die here, so... Let's have something truly ridiculous. Powder plus hold up. Thing is appealing, but I think I hear I want to get my war chief. The pressure on. Yeah, this is cool needle art. Stage. Okay. Next mage. Scrying. Okay. They're going to take a boatload of damage here. They're going to be too slow. Yeah, Wasteland's really good. But all, now it just doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't even matter if they make a Merit Lage. He's so lethal. That War Chief was really... Getting War Chief was really good. They get out of this world? Yeah. We can, like, I don't even think I'm going to hold up any of that stuff. I think I'm just going to Matron for Sling Gang and kill him out of combat. Uh,
I'm trying to think if there's any way this can go wrong. I don't think it can. Yeah. Wow. Five. Oh. All right. So we beat Depths, uh, Rug Delver, uh, Urza Echo, Miracles, Depths. I'm pretty fucking proud of that. That's a staunch 5 0 right there. Steve, yeah, we just beat uh, Turbo Depths. Um, and we got the 5 0. That was satisfying. Our boy is now a man. Chelver, it, it's uh, it's a all it's all due to the uh, the sound. The the all right. If anyone's new here, you should follow or subscribe for that five O and hear the customized sound that Chelver made for me on commission. It's great. Um, I think that that or er, that earns a sub at least right there. And if you want, I'm gonna start. I'm I'm gonna be putting together a sideboard guide for this exact list. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. Um, the 61 versus 60 thing is close. Um, the Caracas main versus uh, so it's basically if you play 60, it looks like that, and if you play 61, it looks like this. Uh, we won. A specific we won game one against miracles because we had the caracas to some extent uh right because we we were able to bounce the uro and protect our own muxus and that was really really good so i think if you're expecting more snow in the meta main deck caracas with 61 is better if you're playing against like a ton of delver and combo 60 is better because your cyber cards get more uh efficient slot efficient in a way because you're going to see them more often um, and you're looking for individual cards. Yeah, we'll we'll open some chests. I'm a chest opener. Ooh, Misty Rainforest, Praxian Crusader. That was a good. That was a good chest. My chests have been great. Opened a Force of Will in my last one. Uh, Misty, fifteen tickets. Fuck yeah! Accidentally cut Chain Whirler from the deck, didn't I? <laughs> all right misty next one magistrate scepter all right less good brought back there's no way that's worth anything right brought nope 25 play points isn't bad though junkio bell Aptly named Junk. I remember this card from Kamigawa, though. I I have I have one in my binder somewhere. Godless Shrine, direfully Daredevils this week. I really wish this was a Goblin. This card would be such a just a dope Goblin. Imagine you could flash this in, like vile the sin responds to your opponent's Dreadhorde trigger and Boulder Dreadhorde. That'd be so sick. That'd be so sick. God, let's try and work it out. That's the gate crash one. Yeah. All right, one ticket. Dire fleet. Dire fleet. Nope. All right. Yeah, this card would be such a. And it's a two one first strike. I guess it would die to Plague Engineer, but you could like flash back Abrupt Decay. Kill the Plague Engineer. Beautiful. Five tickets? Fuck yeah. Wow, these chests have been overall very good. Trying the Sabrina anyway. Uh maybe. It could be a fun, like a nice fun of. Like really solid against Delver and control, probably. Mind Moil, Brass Herald. 
the uh if we ever wanted to play more ringleaders we can just play brass or herald right <laughs> Ruins of Oran Reef. Okay. Opal Essence. Is that worth anything? I doubt it. Opal. Oh. Opal Essence. Nah. All right. Uh, I think we've already done better than breaking even on our chests, so I'll just keep going. Dismantling Wave. Uh, it's like a commander card that will get expensive in a couple of years. Tajik is sick. All right, last one. We're going to get force negation. Hmm. Whoa, the, wait, hold on. The, <laughs> the feature site set symbol doesn't fit in the frame. <laughs> Moto explaining quality. <laughs> uh, and twenty play points. Actually, you know, we probably we did we did pretty hot in those chests. I gotta remember to add Misty. Is there anything else? Oh, beautiful. Yeah. And like those two alone are like above put us above average for chests, I'm pretty sure. It's like 20 ticks and 11 chests and then a bunch of play points. So yeah, we hit like slightly plus EV, I think, on the chests. Plus some cards that might become expensive in the future. Yeah, here's the deck. Yeah, you can screenshot that if you want. Um, See, so yeah, I'm gonna get to work on the cyborg good for this for the Patreon. Uh, so that's five dollars a month if you're interested in that. Also, so if you haven't heard, I'm going to be on Channel Fireball uh, either tomorrow or the day after. Uh, I recorded a League of Goblins with Anurag Das uh, for his Legacy Master series. Uh, I am so excited for this video. There's gonna be two videos because our our league took three and a half hours. <laughs> Um, and that, and they're, they're really sweet games. Um, yeah, thanks. It, it, it like honestly means a lot to me. I'm, I, I'll post the link everywhere once it goes live. Um, I think Unrog's just, uh, editing it a little bit more. Uh, we had a great time. We played against some crazy decks, like really crazy decks, honestly. And, uh, it was, it, it was, it was great. I had a, I had a fantastic time. And I think Anu enjoyed goblins a lot as well, which is always exciting. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna close off with that five zero there. Perfect two hour stream five zero boom. Let's see who else is streaming some legacy, huh? Skyship's playing some rug delver. Winston's playing pokey pile. Oh, go Dex. Dex. But yeah, with a lesson learned today, don't attack Oko, attack face, like, almost all the time. Because even though I didn't lose because of it, I could have lost. It was way closer than it should have been. Force of Phil, thanks for the follow. How's it going, man? Uh, who is... What do you guys want to see, Pokepile or Rug Delver? Yeah, I don't, I don't know how you weren't following. Boom goes the fodder cannon, indeed. Clarostrix, is it Clarostorix? Thanks to Storix. Thanks for the follow. <laughs> I was also the, pa the paper legacy folks. Uh, A plus sound effect, yeah. All right, let's let's host uh, the the paper legacy. Oh, they're, oh, they're doing pre Innistrad. They're not doing actually doing legacy. Pre Innistrad legacy sounds kind of cool though. I I support that corner kind of stuff. Let's do the MTG paper legacy host. All right, check out the VOD on YouTube. We'll be uploading it uh, tomorrow. Upl I have to upload the last stream tonight. And uh, see you guys probably on Sunday. 
Let's see. All right. Catch you all next time. Bye-bye.